Every morning, I get exactly the same sandwich. My mom makes exactly the same salad, and my dad starts a brand new diet. What will this breakfast look like in the future? Will I get a vitamin capsule instead of a sandwich? Where will vegetables come from? And my dad? Well, he'll probably still need to lose a few pounds. As the global urban population increases and agricultural areas dwindle, we find ourselves further removed from the food we consume. The food is processed and heavily altered from its original state. It comes from fields, plants and grow farms located hundreds and thousands of miles away. And not only is it bad for our bodies, its shipping and production is bad for the environment. So how can we bring the food closer to us? How can we grow lettuce or strawberries in Jerusalem? Even now, innovations in agricultural technology enable us to grow fruits and vegetables without using soil. In the future, we'll witness an increased use of this technology. In addition, multi-story agrarian farms containing a wide variety of crops will pop up in the middle of our cities. These hydroponic farms don't contaminate the environment, and the fact that they're so close means that we can eat fresh food. What about meat? Will a cow farm also pop up on top of the Azrieli Towers? Not quite. Actually, the global meat industry will shrink in order to free up agricultural fields for crops intended for human consumption rather than animal consumption. As a result, animal suffering will either decrease or end altogether. That said, People do need meat to maintain a balanced diet. Lab-grown meat, which we're currently developing, can help provide this balance. You mean like a genetically engineered burger? That's right. The taste and texture will be similar, perhaps even identical to real meat, but with a greater nutritional value. For example, instead of saturated fat, we'll have meat that is rich in omega-3. This burger won't make its way to your plate through the butcher because there will be no need to slaughter any animals. Instead, you'll be able to find it in the supermarket. Just like it is now. With one major difference. To prolong its shelf life, the food we buy at the supermarket comes loaded with preservatives, taste enhancers, and other artificial ingredients. In the future, the engineered meat, much like the rest of the food we'll buy, will no longer contain all of that. Instead, these substances will exist in the packaging rather than in the food and never enter our bodies. So we'll eat more organic and local food and not as much meat? And more grains, rice, soy protein and less sugar. So we won't get so fat? Absolutely. Healthier food will reduce obesity, delay the onset of diseases, reduce blood pressure and extend our life expectancy. But the future of food doesn't end there. The progress in DNA and human genetics research will allow us to pinpoint every person's genetic nutritional needs and to devise a personalized nutritional menu. Like a diet. Yes, but a nutritional plan rather than a weight loss trick. Each person's genetic information together with a simple blood test will tell them what to eat and when is the best time to eat. Grocery stores will supply us with the same products but with varying nutritional values so that everyone can buy the products that specifically suit them. One person may need cereal enriched with just a bit of protein while another may need a bit more iron in her peppers. At dinner time everyone will sit down at the table to eat shakshuka but the nutritional values of each serving will be fine-tuned to the genetics of each person taking part in the meal. Whoa, that's a ton of work for the cook. People who are interested in saving time or who simply don't want to bother with food will be able to take pills that contain everything their body needs and be done with it. True, it will satisfy their physical needs, but some researchers say that for human beings, food is about much more than just what we put into our bodies. Because food is more than just fuel for the body. It's also smell, taste, sound, color, and company. Indeed it is. Bon appétit.